The survey found that the statistical chances of someone from a poor background being accepted at one of the country's most respected universities are far lower than those of a student from a wealthy family. This means that the inequalities in society are likely to be passed down from one generation to the next. There is every reason to believe that effective regulations are not merely a luxury that only the rich can afford, but an important foundation for a thriving private sector and economic growth. But the broad pattern of the past five years has been that the main reform efforts are taking place in rich countries. The advantage of the great European and American orchestras is that they were able to establish their iconic status in an age when their identity could become entrenched, there was less competition and it was easier to create a brand. Not only did they have the best halls, they attracted the best musicians, who tended to stay put.
Quite obviously, a significant rise in the number of people in a given area or country will affect the demand for a whole host of goods and services. Note that a change in the structure of the population will increase the demand for some goods but reduce the demand for others. A level of competence in chemistry is essential to the professional practice of material conservation. An understanding of scientific concepts and a basic scientific vocabulary enables the conservator to understand conservation problems, treatments, material techniques in a systematic and quantifiable way, which can be communicated not only to colleagues in the profession but also those from other disciplines. We've spent a lot of money over the last 70 years on flood control, and it's protected millions of people and has saved us billions of dollars. We've built dams to hold back the waters. We've built levees to keep the water off the people, and we've raised the ones that were originally started in 1718.
We want a recreation in adulthood of what it felt like to be administered to and indulged. In a secret part of our minds, we picture someone who will understand our needs, bring us what we want, to be immensely patient and sympathetic to us, act selflessly, and make it all better. It's not easy to make a wind turbine blade. Conventional blades require a lot of labor. They are a sandwich composed of fiberglass, sheets of balsa wood and a chemical called an epoxy thermoset resin. A heat oven is required to give blades the proper shape, strength, smoothness and flexibility to catch the wind and turn the turbine. The most obvious change is that 46% of college undergraduates are now women. When I went there, it was only the third year that women had been admitted, and then seemingly grudgingly, about 70% of students were male, and if there was a woman tutor she must have been a male impersonator.
globalization refers to a set of changes rather than a single change. Many of these changes are social, cultural and political rather than purely economic, and one of the main drivers in addition to the global marketplace is the communication revolution. Tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs. These include the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together. For example, the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue, which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action. At an early stage in the examination of the domicile of dependency rule in so far as it related to married women it seemed to the commission that it would be better to examine the whole concept of domicile, particularly as dependent domicile arises in the case of minors, children under the age of majority, and mentally disordered persons as well as in the case of married women.
the Assembly also decided that, at that special session, it would adopt a concise and action-oriented political declaration, agreed upon in advance by consensus through intergovernmental negotiations under the auspices of the conference. Children as young as 14 months old will spontaneously help others for no reward. But a study of 3 to 5 year olds found that, although they would spontaneously draw pictures, if they were given a reward for drawing pictures, then later they wouldn't make any drawings unless a reward was offered. Yet this landscape, which appeared so alien and confronting to the white settlers and explorers, had been home for thousands of years to indigenous Australians for whom the plains, ranges and deserts were a sustaining, spiritual and integral part of their existence. The carbon is essential to life on Earth, but scientists still struggle to grasp its complexities.
Most research to date has focused on major sources of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide and the use of fossil fuels. A new study has come to the counterintuitive conclusion that plants might accumulate more carbon in the presence of predators and herbivores. Eating a handful of almonds a day significantly increases the production of butyrate, a short-chain fatty acid that promotes gut health. Whole almond eaters had an additional 1.5 bowel movements per week compared to the other groups. Eating almonds could also benefit those with constipation. A lullaby or cradle song is a soothing song or piece of music that is usually played for children, for adults see music and sleep. The purposes of lullabies vary. In some societies they are used to pass down cultural knowledge or tradition. Lullabies can be found in many countries and have existed since ancient times. To prevent mosquito-transmitted diseases, 
approaches based on genetic control of insect populations are being developed. However, many of these strategies are based on highly invasive, self-propagating transgenes that can rapidly spread the trait into other populations of mosquitoes. Changes in climate affect, for example, the plant and animal life of a given area. The presence of coal beds in North America and Europe along with evidence of glaciation in these same areas indicates that they must have experienced alternately warmer and colder climates than they now possess.